Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the first conditional. If you watch this lesson, you will understand how to use it. So let's get started. First, let's do a quick overview. So let's do a tense revision then. First, let's take a look at the present simple. Well, you know that the helping verb for the present simple is do or does. Remember that does is for the third person singular, and that is he, she, or it. We only use the helping verb for negative sentences or questions. Like in these examples, he doesn't study hard. Does he study hard? He studies hard. For other pronouns like I, you, they, and we, we just need the verb study in this case, and then something else if you have an object. Like in my example, I study hard. So notice the third example, he studies hard. Remember that for the third person singular, he, she, or it, you need to add es or s to the verb. In this case, we have ies because the verb ends in y. So let's take a look at the second tense we are going to use. That is the future simple. Well, it's simple and easy. The helping verb here will be will. So we just need will plus the base of the verb, like in these examples. I will go home soon. Or, you won't go home for a negative sentence. Instead, for a question, will he go home soon? So notice that the verb does not change. I'm will either. So now let's take a look at when to use the first conditional. So, when do we use it? It is used when an action is likely possible to happen in the future. That's why you need the future simple. And how is it formed? Well, let's take a look at that. Well, first we need a conjunction plus the present simple. In the second clause we need will plus the base of the verb. Conjunctions such as if, when, as soon as, after, even if, unless. And here we have some examples. So, if he works, he will get paid. When I arrive, I will call you. As soon as she graduates, she will start to work. After he gets a job, he will buy a house. Even if he loses his job, he will have money saved up. Unless you see me, you won't believe me. So notice, after the first clause, we need a comma. If he works, comma. Second clause, he will get paid. Now, there is another way of saying the same thing. Let's take a look at that. So we need will plus the base of the verb, plus a conjunction, plus the present simple. He will get paid if he works. I will call you when I arrive. She will start to work as soon as she graduates. He will buy a house after he gets a job. He will have money saved up even if he loses his job. You won't believe me unless you see me. So this is a preference. But remember, if you have the conjunction at the beginning, so in the first clause, you need a comma before the second clause. So now, let's practice. Complete the sentences with the right form of the verb. 
So I will give you five minutes to complete it, and then I will give you the key. So you need to pause the video. Now that you are ready, let's take a look at the key. If I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema. She will move to London when she gets a job. We won't be late unless we hurry. As soon as we finish, we will go out. He'll call you after he arrives home. Notice that I said he'll call you. This is just a choice. You can use the contracted form when you speak. When you write, it's better to use will. Write the whole helping verb. So one last consideration. There are other ways of forming the first conditional. If you're interested in looking at other lessons about this topic, I suggest watching my other two lessons listed in my playlist. Do a search in my channel and you will find them. Oh, this is me. This is an example of another way of forming the conditional. This is called the zero conditional. If you are interested, notice, if you are interested, that's the present simple, in the first clause. The second clause is, I suggest watching. So that's the present simple again. So this is also called the zero conditional. There is no conditional. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have questions, you may type them under this video. Um, thank you for watching my lesson, obviously, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. You may like the lesson, probably, and then hit on the like button, and you may share the uh, video, the video lesson, if you liked it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.